Hi guys, as you've seen in our previous videos, we have a big fish tank here, yeah? a reef fish tank. We want to put some more corals in. As you can see, there's only like one coral in there, a couple of mushrooms and stuff like that. Problem is, our skimmer gave in a while ago. Here's our old skimmer. It's a reef octopus. But with the power cuts, basically the note gave in. So now we went and bought a new one today. We've got this one now. It's a Bubble Mungus Curve 9 Plus. It's made for 1,500 liters or 400 gallons, which is the size of this tank. And remember to like and subscribe as we're putting in more corals next week after we do a couple of water changes as well to get the inner three levels down. So what we'll be doing today is just change the skimmer, take the old one out, build a new one, put the new one in, and we'll show you how we do that. Thank you. So time to unbox the bottle of my goose. Let's see what's in here. Bump. Overflow pipe, it goes there if you want to drain it. There's the silencer, otherwise, you just hear it all the time. And then the actual skimmer. And the instructions, I doubt I'll be needing that. <laughs> Okay, this is where you adjust it to go higher and lower. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It says the numbers there, max. Okay, let's get this pumped out first. Let me just open the instructions, just in case.
Okay, so let's put the pump in. Slide from this side. Make sure it's clicked in, otherwise when you push the inlet in, it will push the pump back. The back here, there is a place for your wire to go. So put this through here like that. And you push the rubber through. And then, next step is this one, unscrew it, you put it over like this, screw it into the pump. Put it over, you start here with our tolls. And then you use this adapter, push it onto the pump, just turn it a bit so it goes in easier. Then you take the pipe, we take the bigger one, because you get two different lengths. The bigger one works better. Plug it in there. Then you screw in your silencer on top here. No more noise. And then the last step is you put the cup on. And then we use this pipe. What you're going to use this for is whenever you want to drain it, just pull this out, you drain it to a container, throw it away. Unless you want to take this off every time, but that's quite a bit. The last step would be plugging this into the power supply. Just this, which we're not going to do now. We're going to do that when the skimmer is inside of the tank. We don't want bar inside of the tank. Okay. Now we're removing the old skimmer. Thing is, it's not only the skimmer we have to remove there. The old one's got a controller. So I have to remove that. I don't know if you can see it, that's the controller for it. So I have to remove that as well and put the new one in. Okay, so the old we thought the push schema is out. Now I'm putting the new one in. I'll show you what it looks like after it's all inside and linked up. Okay, so it's foaming, I just have to adjust it and put the catch tank on. Okay guys, the skimmer is in. As you can see it's working nicely there. What we're going to do now is we're going to do two water changes. As you can see I'm filling my mix tank there. And then we're going to add some corals. Stay tuned, remember to like and subscribe to see all our other videos. Thank you.